Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video we're going to be looking at Clerk. Now Clerk is a Jamstack focused user management system that you can use with Next.js, React and you don't have to worry about creating all those crazy authentication and authorization pieces that you might need such as hashing passwords, storing users, providing different OAuths such as Google or Facebook. In this video, I'm going to show you the overview of Clerk and we're going to look deep into that as well as a simple one click deploy to the sale and we can navigate through each screen and I can show you exactly how it works. Now, if that sounds something that interests you, stick around as we dig in to Clerk. Right. Hello. Sorry to interrupt, but I just need to get this out here. 50% of you are not subscribed to the channel. That means you're missing out on content. So if you see a red button, click it and let's get on with the video. So here we are in the clerk's main page to talk about the basic features and what it provides. So as you can see out of the box, it adds the ability to sign your new users up, let them sign in and even manage their profile. And the profile management here is in depth. It's not just like, here's a picture, and here's the name. You can see things like security incidents and other features so that user can feel safe and happy while navigating your website. So the most important thing here is that we are optimized for the Jamstack. That means that this was built from the ground up with Jamstack in mind instead of other providers out there such as Auth0, which in my mind was built for as many platforms as possible versus Clerk, which is built for the Jamstack. So if you're doing a Next.js project or a React project, you can use this right out of the box and you don't have to worry about making very specific changes to your application to make it work with the Jamstack. One cool, really cool feature is the UI is completely pre-built for you. So there's no need to create forms or sign up pages or routes or Here's what a user profile looks like. It's built for you right out of the box and it's themable and we'll get to that in a second. But as you can see here, it's a very basic sign up and then the user profile here, which is kind of hard to see, but let's see if I can zoom in and make it a little better. You can see things like the username, the email, the phone number, and if they have specific things involved, such as two factor authentication or where they were last logged in. On top of that, they have this cool user button, which I really, really like. You're, you know, in your nav bar, usually you have a way to manage your profile or manage your account. And they offer this pre-built with the avatar. So you can just click it and then it will show this drop down here, whether they can add another account or they can hit manage account and change their passwords or see certain things. So that's the basics of the website and they're always doing new features. Before I recorded this video, they didn't have security monitoring or Facebook authentication. So I went back and re-recorded this video because now they've added more features and I wanted to make sure they were highlighted as of the recording, which is in May. So let's look at what happens when you're signed in. So let me quickly sign into my dashboard. Okay, so I have two different applications here one called a YouTube test app, and then one called the Clerk One Click. Now the Clerk One Click is actually the one click deployment that they offer through Resale, which we're going to get to at the end of this video, and I'm gonna show you how that kind of works. And this one was my test application for self-mounting components, which is a video coming soon. And if you're into this and you really like Clerk, make sure you subscribe, because we're gonna be taking that in the future. So let's look at my YouTube test app. I have a couple of different deployments here and a couple of different settings. So the name, you can obviously change that and that will be what's managed and associated with the account. So you know what the app is called and you can add your logo so that people know that your website is legit and that they should believe it. And obviously the favorite icon, if you have an icon that you use for your website, you can also use that as well. Now you have two instances here. One is for development and one is for production. So let's go into my development one here and you'll be able to see some things here such as the front end API, 
the backend API, the sign up and the sign in. And if I go to these, for example, this sign up one here, you'll see that like it's fully deployed already. And here is the URL and someone can sign up for my site and they can also use Google out of the box and it tells them the application. And then if they click the sign in, it will redirect them to the sign in page as well. So on top of that, here are a couple of different users and soon they're going to uh, give you the option to search through your users. Bear in mind, this is pretty young in its development, but they've added so many features that it's definitely worth talking about. You can view a profile and see exactly what they have. Here is a photo from a Bruins game. Here is my email, first name, last name, and then any metadata that you might want. In the integrations right now, they have Azura, which is GraphQL, and it's super great. So if you're using this already, it's it can be integrated immediately with this. And they're planning on adding all of these Stripe, Zendesk, Segment, Salesforce, Prisma, MailChimp, etc. So let's talk about the settings and what you can kind of customize, themed, etc. So you can actually denote what is required on sign up, such as they must give just a user, must give their email, or they can give just their phone number, or one or the other, or none. And then you can add your SSO, such as Google or Facebook, and then you can handle that. And then if you need usernames, for example, you have an application that needs a username, you have the option to require a username on sign up. And you can just change that and it will change the way it works. Now, I have it currently set to password based, but you could do passwordless, which means that the user will receive one time codes. So just, you know, they sign in with their email and they get a magic link and that OTP is what they use. And then you can denote how many active sessions a single user can have. So imagine if you wanted a multi session ability, you can do that, which a lot of places you have to either implement yourself, especially in the Jamstack world, or you have to handle that during integration and add a lot of code. Now they do have two step verification such as SMS and soon you'll be able to do backup one time generation. And then soon you can have these as personal info, such as a custom field will be coming soon, birthdays, genders, etc. So that really gives you an overview of the user management. Now, this is what I really like about this uh, options. Obviously, you can see I set the primary color to, to like a bright pink. You can set these to different fonts. You can have rounded corners or none. You can have a component with a shadow or none. You can have compact or standard padding. The buttons can change with the font weight and the button colors and the pages that you go to can have different background colors. One thing to note is they do have this URLs here, which currently are set to localhost because I'm working on a project. But if you went to my other instance here, the one click and go to um, development and look at settings and go to URLs, you'll see that these are the actual URLs for um, the sign up pages. So when I go here, they'll be the same as the one here. So when I launch this, it's a slightly different color and called click one time, sign in with Google, email address, etc. So you can see how these change. And if I go to, I don't know, the theme and let's make it not rounded and shadow and hit apply changes. This is instant. So if I refresh the page, now you can see that there's no shadow anymore and there's no rounded corners. So it's really simple to make the UI look the way you want and then you can do stuff with it. So now I've really just talked about this as, as a one piece. Let me show you what the one click for sale integration looks like, which if you're working in the Jamstack is super nice to be able to spin up something immediately with all the environmentals, everything set up so that you can test it out. So I'll meet you back and we can test that out. So here we are in the create application at the beginning of Clerk. If you click create application, one option is to use the quick start with Next.js and Vercel. So if you click this deploy button, it will redirect you back to here and it'll ask you to give it a project name. So let's call this clerk 
one click example. We hit continue and it's going to ask you to install clerk as an option. So just go ahead and click that and it will say click continue. And then obviously you give it a name and then maybe you give it a different brand color. So my brand color for this is black. Hit create application. And this window will close automatically and for sale will allow you to continue. Um, and we'll just put this here. So you get to select your GitHub repository. And then you can leave everything as is. Now what's cool about this is in the environmentals, you'll see down here, we've added six environmentals um, from Clerk. And those will be things like your API key, your redirects, everything like that will be handled for you. So you can go ahead and click deploy. And once it's done, I'll meet you back here and I'll show you the website working from start to finish. So here we are, we're back in the application. It says, congratulations, this has been deployed. You click visit and it brings you to this website which is essentially like the next.js starter when you start a next.js um but it has all these features now we can click sign in here and i'm going to click sign up and say i have never signed up before so let me sign up with um an email and let's set a password and what's cool about this is if the password is weak it should stop you from signing in okay so now we need to get our six digit code so obviously we need to verify who we are so let me go ahead and do that so now we've signed in now you can see in this top right -hand corner this has changed to like a little ui up here let me zoom in a little bit so you might be able to see it a bit better if you click this it's going to bring you to this page that says hey james here's my email i can sign out of this application or I can click this manage accounts. If I click this, it actually gives you a full profile where you can add more information, such as your phone number, if you need that, connected accounts, if you've got Gmail added, if you used the OAuth, you could do that. You can upload a picture here so that your profile changes. You can change your information, but more importantly is this security tab. So currently I have two-step authentication turned off and the cool thing is you can see where the last um, device was logged in and you can see that this is this device that I'm currently on and then it gives you a bunch of details such as the IP address and the name of the city that I'm in and the time. And then if you go back here and click sign out, you'll get rewrited back. You can click sign in and this time I'm just going to do sign in with Google. So if I click this, it's going to ask me which account I want to use. So let's go ahead and use this one. And now if you go to your manage account, what you'll see is that this is now connected this account to this connected account. And I have a password here. Everything stayed the same, but it just merged two things together. So now we have these one social accounts. So now if I go back to Clerk and take a look at the project itself and we sign back in and we'll click on this one and say, let me look at development and look at the users. Oh, no, it's staging because we are in for sale. You'll see the user ID. You can view the profile yourself and see, okay, here's his primary email. He has no metadata and for security, we don't have anything, but this will be coming soon. So you'll be able to see similar screens as what the user saw. But you can see important information about the user. So that was a brief overview of Clerk. It's clear to see that Clerk has space in the Jamstack. It has all the features that people are wanting without having to rely on something that uses everything in the world, such as we provide for node php ruby etc it was built from the ground up for the jamstack users now in the next video i'm going to show you how you can use self-mounted components which means you can bring your application down and use all of the features of clerk but keep everything inside of your application instead of redirecting out i'll also show you code on how to set up clerk 
and use it in general. So that'll be the crash course. So if you like that, make sure you're subscribed. Comment down below if you want to see more about Clerk, and I'll see you next time.